What are the greatest what ifs in sports? Right? Um, I would say for me, like you could go sport by sport by sport by sport and say, what if? Heck, we've been talking about the the Astros and whether or not they'll lose the World Series. What if they didn't have what if they didn't have access to cameras or maybe these buzzers telling them what pitches were coming? We'll never know. Will the Dodgers have won their first World Series in 30 years? Will we still view Clayton Kershaw the same? Like, we'll never know. What would Barry Bonds have looked like if he aged like a regular human being? Roger Clemens, when he was too old and too fat to pitch in uh, Boston, would he have had a resurgence without the help of performance enhancers? Well, no. I don't know. What would happen if, if Bartman didn't go after a foul, foul ball? Right? College basketball. What would have happened, I don't know if you guys know this, Mateen Cleese won a national championship in 2000. Right? In 1995, he was on a recruiting trip to Michigan. They got into a car accident in, I believe it was Robert Trailer's Ford Explorer. Turns out, Robert Trailer's Ford Explorer belonged to his grandma. His grandma wasn't working. It was what ultimately brought down Michigan's program. Mateen Cleaves was going to go to Michigan. Everybody went to Michigan. Michigan was a cool program at the time. He didn't. He went to Michigan State. Flintstones, National Championship. Tom Izzo, Hall of Famer. Rest is history. Right? What would have happened if that car accident didn't happen? Right? There's the, there's the butterfly effect. You guys know what the butterfly effect is? If this doesn't happen, all of these other things don't happen. Happens in politics all the time. Uh, Ross Perot passed away, what, a couple months ago? People forget that Ross Perot was really making headway in running for president, and then he decided to not run for like, I don't know, a couple weeks, and then he started to run again. What would happen if he just kept on his campaign? You know, there are people that are George Bush supporters, and was it Ralph Nader was a Green Party candidate? It was Ralph Nader? If Ralph Nader didn't want run... Would George Bush have won? Right? Happens in politics. Happens in sports. You know? What would have happened with Alabama had they not pulled Jalen Hurts in the national championship game? What would have happened? Would they have come back and won? Would Jalen Hurts have finished up at Alabama? Would Tua Tavailoga have transferred? If Tua transferred, where would he have gone? Would he have gotten hurt like... All of these what ifs I watched last night and I know the Colts lost another close game. And if you're watching the Colts or you're watching the, the, the Texans, you're like, welcome to my world. Every game is close. The Colts lost their first game of the season. The chargers, mostly because their field goal kicker is a fossil. He's a hall of fame fossil, but a fossil and inventory. He missed two field goals and an extra point. They lose by six. You do the math. They lose to the Raiders by a touchdown. They lose to the Steelers by two. They lose to the Dolphins by four. They lose to the Texans by three. They have not been out of any football game. Their schedule's been tougher than most. Remember, they beat the Titans on the road. Chiefs, when they had Pat Mahomes, on the road. And they're right there in the thick of a playoff berth. And this is after they've lost Andrew Luck for the season. Or Andrew Luck for his career, because Andrew Luck retired. They've had a litany of injuries. They didn't have their best running back going back uh, to last night, right? Last night, they line up, and man, you don't have Mac at running back. You're a different football team. But I want you to think about this. In the football all-time what-ifs, I would start with the Patriots in 08, right? Patriots in 08, that's coming off of the 16-0 year. Brady back. Moss back, best team in football back. And they actually end up having a relatively easy schedule. Matt Castle wins 11 games. How many do they win? What happens historically to the Patriots if Tom Brady doesn't come down with a knee injury because somebody tackles him below the waist, right? What if? What if Andrew Luck's their quarterback? He doesn't retire. Jacoby Brissett and Brian Hoyer have been their starting quarterbacks. They're third in the NFL in rushing, eighth and third down conversion percentage, fourth in time of possession on offense. 
Seventh in red zone scoring. They can run it. They can already score. They already maintain possession of the football. They do. They have a tremendous offensive line. They have a good tight end. They have a good running back. I watched the Colts last night and thought, what if Andrew Luck hadn't retired? And you can tell me that's not a Super Bowl team. Okay. Do the Patriots have better skill position players? No. They already beat the Colts on the, they already beat the Chiefs on the road without Andrew Luck. Like, I don't think it's crazy to think they have a Super Bowl team if Andrew Luck comes back and play. That's an all time what if. Right? What would have happened? Like, what would have happened to the Bulls after they won their third straight title if Jordan hadn't retired? Right? How many would they want? Would they have won six? Would they have won eight? Or would they have lost for a couple years because they were bored and tired of being around each other, much like the Golden State Warriors? We don't know. And I don't know if if the luck-led Colts would absolutely win a or get to a Super Bowl, but it stands to reason they got a really good offensive line, they got a good young defense, they got a talented running back. Um, I think Ebron, obviously, is a a favorite target as a tight end. T.Y. Hilton, who didn't play well last night, still a very good player. Are there... Are their pass catchers great? No. But you got all these other things to make Andrew Luck happy, to make him successful. They've already been good with Jacoby Brissett. Imagine what they would be with Andrew Luck, which who we would all conclude is one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL before he decided to retire. That's an all-time what if And we have it in every sport. Now... What if that foul wasn't called? What if the travel was called? What if there's a push-off called on Jordan on Brian Russell? What if the Golden State Warriors pick any of their injuries last year in the playoffs? Hey, when the Golden State Warriors had a three games to one lead in the Cleveland Cavaliers, what happens if Andrew Bogut doesn't get hurt? Everybody talks about Draymond getting suspended. Well, what happens if Draymond doesn't get suspended? Well, what happens if Andrew Bogut doesn't get, get, get hurt? Different team. Very different team. There are a lot of great sports what ifs. And that's part of what makes life, what makes sports special is if ifs were fifths, we'd be drinking every day, right? But I watch the Colts all season long. I marvel at their offensive line play. I think Jacoby Brissett's good, solid, fine. Not elite, but not terrible. I do think, can you imagine him, Garoppolo, and Brady all on the same team, that's pretty phenomenal stuff. But I also would tell you that if they had luck, they'd be great, not good. Great. And I think he left behind a Super Bowl team. Much like Tom Brady did, much like Joe Montana to this day. If you go up to Joe Montana, you're like, what do you think of the San Francisco 49ers? Steve Young won my Super Bowl. What if I hadn't had to go to the Kansas City Chiefs. And and much like um you know, I we had we Cowherd got in this discussion yesterday. Can't compare Jordan and LeBron. Like if you can't compare those guys, even though it's an unfair comparison, where you're not doing sports radio, right? Doesn't mean you do it every day, but it's a natural comparison. Hell, LeBron James is wearing number 23. You can tell me I don't want to be compared to Jordan. Why the hell are you wearing number 23? But if you can't say what if, you can't do sports. Can't do life. Do you guys remember those uh, choose your own adventure books? That's basically three different what if scenarios. What if the dragon attacks you? What if the dragon decides not to attack you? What if you feed the dragon? Three different pages, three different stories. What if? Hi, I'm Doug Gottlieb from uh, Fox Sports Radio, and you need to subscribe to the Fox Sports Radio YouTube channel where you can hear and see me. Why not? Plus, everybody else who's awesome here in Fox Sports Radio.